And a lot of women are broken. They're damaged beyond repair and are seeking men who are going to comfort them, who are, who are not going to check them, who are not going to hold them accountable. This is why I tell you guys, you have to put women in check. You cannot be afraid to walk away. I wish you would help me, Carlos. I wish you would help me. It's going to make me look stupid. I wish you would help me. I wish. You look stupid and confused the entire time we're here. And it's cool. I mean, Fucking keep to I've never had this done before. And you won't help me. Sorry, son of a bitch. Sorry, sorry, son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm American and I don't understand a single word that this says. Why? Because you're going to do well. I'm going to start screaming and have someone get you away from me. I hate you for doing this to me. This is my first flight into doing this to me. Okay, so yes, I'm Carlos from the TikTok. Everyone's been asking me to make a story time, so I guess this is it. So I'm not going to be telling her name out of respect and legal reasons, to be honest. But so basically what happened was is that me and my ex-girlfriend, girlfriend at the time, we went to Ecuador because that's where I'm originally from. I'm not from the U.S. So I took her to visit my family back in Ecuador. And um, so that was on the flight back from Ecuador to San Salvador. And our flight got canceled. Well, it got delayed at first, but I knew it was going to get canceled eventually. So I ended up getting paying the lounge because it was going to be cheaper than just buying food all day. So what ended up happening is that me and her drank a little bit, but she suffers from a lot of substance abuse issues, which I didn't realize were as bad as they were. But one drink turned into like 20 for her. And I didn't realize she was that drunk until we were finally being called because the flight was canceled and we had to go to the gate. And, <laughs> and so whenever we got called to the gate, I just realized she was drunk because she started screaming, started being loud, started bothering other people. And me not wanting to cause a scene because everybody was already upset. The flight was canceled. Started talking back to her. I was like, stop, stop, stop. And she was getting upset and more upset and more upset. And she started screaming and screaming and talking loudly and calling people things. And it just started escalating and escalating and escalating. And I was helping her. I was, I speak Spanish, so she didn't really need to do anything. And so as time went on, it kept getting worse and worse and worse. And she wouldn't honestly stop. And then that's when the kind of the video starts because we were going down because we had to go through immigration because we were leaving the San Salvador airport to um, go to uh, the hotel that the f company had booked for us, uh, Avianca. And um, so what ended up happening was is that I just gave up, honestly. I was like, a lot of you guys have been saying, like, just leave her there. I was like, I'm done. I told her I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I can't keep taking care of you. I'm not your dad. I'm not anything. And she would just start crying, breaking down and just causing a scene. And I just honestly, I couldn't leave her like that alone in a foreign country. I don't know. I just I just couldn't. So I would go up to her. I would try to fix things. It would just end up getting worse. And that's where that video starts. Honestly, it was after immigration. We were trying to fill out the forms and it just got progressively worse and worse and worse and worse. And then she starts screaming and breaking down like as you guys saw. But I am running out of time, so I think I'll have to continue this in the second part. Bye. <laughs> this is what that happy wife, happy life mindset gets you guys. <laughs> when you put that woman first, when you try to do anything to make her happy and comfortable, she will make your life miserable. She will cause you pain and embarrassment. She will destroy your reputation. Now that guy, he didn't realize he was being recorded. And I'm quite sure this type of incident has happened multiple times. See, when you see a woman disrespect a man in public, and I'm quite sure you guys have before, you got to realize that that's not the first time. It's happened behind closed doors a lot. And the fact that he's sitting there taking that punishment, taking that pain, taking out all that disrespect, just lets you know that he's the type of individual that women prey on, that these modern day women seek, because they can dominate him. They can break him down. They can do anything and everything. 
on top of that, the guy says, oh, she's suffering from substance abuse. Why didn't you vet her? Why are you actually with that woman? And the other female, his new girlfriend that's, that's in the background, she's happy because she found a sucker. This is what women are looking for. Weak beta males, soft losers. And that's what this guy is. You can just tell. He doesn't have any bass in his voice. He just looks like a passive guy you can push over that you can just get your way with. It's sad, man. And she's sitting there saying all types of things to him. She's on the ground in Indian style like an overgrown child. And he's sitting there, oh, well, I didn't want to leave her in Ecuador at the airport. Uh, I, dude, you drop her and leave her. Period. You get rid of her. Let her find her own way home. That's not your responsibility. It's not. And a lot of women are broken. They're damaged beyond repair. And are seeking men who are going to comfort them, who are, who are not going to check them, who are not going to hold them accountable. This is why I tell you guys, you have to put women in check. You cannot be afraid to walk away. And you can tell that he's afraid. Guys, this is not the first time this crap has happened before. She's called him all types of names. She said this, she said that. And she says, well, she had 20 drinks. Why are you allowing your female to have 20 drinks? Why? Why aren't you have that situation under control? A woman is a reflection of you. Understand that. So if she's mouthing off, talking trash, you know, getting in your face in public or, or doing anything, even in private behind closed doors, it's on you because you teach women how to treat you. A lot of these guys are in relationships because they don't want to be alone, as sad as it is. They're like, man, I want a girlfriend and she's somewhat cute and, and, and I need some consistent sex, so uh, I'll put up with her trash. This is just part of the relationship. That's what a lot of guys think, that uh, her talking back to me and disrespecting me, this will just blow over. We'll have sex when we get home. We're, everything will be fine. We'll get ma have makeup sex and it'll be okay. We'll go out to dinner. No, because once a woman sees she can disrespect you once, she'll do it again and again and again. It's like a snowball effect. So it might not be great the first time. She might just say, shut up. And you're like, huh. then next time she might say, man, you, you dumb. Shut up. And you're like, uh huh. Then she might say, you're so dumb and stupid. Look at you. You see how it's a snowball effect? Then she got to put her hand in your face. Then she's going to mouth off at you. Then, then, then you're going to see months and years down the line. What, what, what happened to this woman? And people are going to look at you like, man, you let her do you like that, bro? Yeah, because you refuse to check her. Because you refuse to walk away. Guys, you have to understand your time, your reputation. Heck, your, your, your masculinity is so valuable. If you have a woman just strip you of that in public, it's, that's sick, man. That, that's insane. No man should be that afraid to be alone. And that's what he is. He's afraid to be alone. I guarantee you he didn't break up with her after that. Uh, they got back home from Ecuador, from seeing his family. He didn't break up with her. He most likely broke up with her after he saw that clip. He's like, oh, you know, man, I got I to I gotta get, get rid of you. We can, this can't work out. Wow, man. Guys, no woman on this planet is worth that kind of misery. It's worth being said, oh, uh, you're nothing, you're this, you're that, you're, you're a waste of... No woman ever, nobody, male or female. And notice how she says, you're not helping, you need to help, help, help. She's crying out for help. And you know what the help she needs? She needs to be put in her place. She needs to be held accountable. She needs to, listen, you need to get rid of her. That's the help she needs so she can realize, oh man, I can't do this type of thing. I can't get into the next relationship and, and get with the next guy and do this. And a lot of guys, you're breeding monsters for the next man. So even if you leave at the last second after she's, after she's completely destroyed your life and reputation, guess what you created? A monster for the next dude. Now he has to correct that crap. Now he has to deal with that. Now he's like, man, well, what's wrong with this chick? Haven't you noticed when you meet women, they're mouthing off at you. They're, they're like talking back. They're, they're, they, they, gotta, they, they act like they're better than you. You know why they act like that? Because all those other thirsty simps, her ex-boyfriends, refuse to put her in their place, refuse to check her, refuse to call her out, and refuse to walk away. So she gets to you. Now she thinks, oh, this is the norm. I can just do this. It's like a kid in a candy shop. Haven't you seen it? That's what this is. Right, the, the mom or dad is used to giving the kid anything they want at home and everything, and, and they go to all the stores, but as soon as they get to that one store, and the mom says, no, we're not getting that today. You know what happens? The kid goes, ah, and goes crazy, and, and sits down, and have a temper tantrum. Uh, 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 and you know why? 
because that mom, that parent, refused to check that child, refused to just say no. You have to get a habit of telling women, no, this is not gonna happen. I'm done with you, it's over with. Good luck in your search. Then for some reason, they'll, they'll change up. But if you don't do that, or if you decide to do it too late, as she's been disrespecting you for months or years, it doesn't mean anything. Get rid of these women right away. Do not be afraid to be alone. Because trust me, there's tons of women who look better than those two women. I'm telling you, even this current girlfriend, that female in the Air Force, is they, they, it's females that look way better. Those chicks is pop. Those chicks is freaking two out of tens, man. Below average in looks. And this man is sitting there, uh, you know, with his glasses on and, you know, uh, you know, you know, this is what she did and, and trying to explain himself. Man, you're a pathetic waste of a man. Uh, whoever the guy is, listen, you need uh, serious help. Did you have a father growing up? Because that's what this come down to. I, I don't know if he did. I, maybe his father was a weak uh, loser as well. I don't know, but th that's, that's em embarrassing, man. He should be ashamed of himself. And women, any woman that gets with him, because he has a girlfriend now, they're going to see, oh, yeah, I can do this to him too. She did that to you in the airport, and you stayed with her, so why can't I talk down to you? And she got to throw that in your face. <laughs> That's sad, man. No woman will ever respect that man. As long as they see that clip and he doesn't change his ways, no woman will value him. The only thing you should be worried about is not being loved by a woman, being respected. I'd rather my woman hate me and respect me than to me seek out love and say, well, uh, she does love me. Listen, your respect means everything in this world to men and women. And if you don't have that, if somebody has crossed the line, listen, it's over with. Don't try to make up with them and don't try to, you know, reconcile to, well, this is, this is, let's work this out this way. No, cut them off immediately. They are not worth your time, your energy, and your peace.